Well, delicious is what tastes good. Basically, we all have certain tastes that we like and that we don't like. And what we do is we combine all of our experiences with food together into something that we then decide is delicious. I'm Lisa Dyser. I am an assistant professor in the food science department at the University of Guelph. And I, for the last 20 years, have studied sensory evaluation of foods. When we actually say taste, what we really do mean is flavor. And can I give you a really good example of that? When you have a cold, what do you say? You say, I can't taste anything, I have a cold. When in fact, it's not that you can't taste things, your taste buds are still working, you just can't detect the aroma of the, of the food because your nose is blocked. And so it's a lack of um, ability to detect flavor, not a taste. Let's take a closer look at taste and flavor, and, and let's use this tomato as an example. So think about the number of times you go into a supermarket, you see people pick up their tomato, and what do they do? They smell it, and they stick it up to their nose, and it will give you an idea about some of the, the flavors that you find in your tomato. So is everybody going to perceive the flavor of this tomato to be the same? The answer to that is probably no. And it's actually really quite a fascinating science to understand why that is. And so if you would like to understand a little bit more about how we determine delicious, click on the tomato.